Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Our sixth annual local quilt shop contest is in full swing, and each day I take some time to scroll through the comments on the leaderboard. As I read, I am reminded of the difference that each and every one of these shops makes in their community. Whether they have received one vote or a thousand votes in the contest, each one has touched the lives of customers and impacted them in a positive way. Today being Valentine's Day, I've invited the Biani Warehouse team to help me share some LQS love by highlighting some of the touching stories that voters have submitted. Quilt shops bring us together, and Barbara's comment about knotty stitches in Castle Rock, Washington really tells that story well. Here to read Barbara's comment is David, who manages the Biani Warehouse and keeps everything running smoothly. We are all lonely since we live in a very small town. Not many shops to shop at, but we get together and share our lives together. If we didn't have this shop to knit in, we would probably not know each other as we do now. Love to be with other ladies that have common interests. Quilt shops inspire us, teach us new skills, and boost our confidence. I think many of us will relate to Robin's comment about Nine Patch Quilt and Fabrics in Nevada, Missouri. It's read by Payton, who expertly ships distributor orders and trunk shows at Biani. Erica encouraged me to take a sampler quilt class taught by a local quilter. It was one of the best classes I have ever taken. It inspired me and boosted my confidence in quilting. She's the reason I'm a quilter today. Local quilt shops help us through hard times and provide a listening ear. Diana submitted this touching story about quilter's journey in Salem, Missouri. It's read by Shara, who keeps our accounting records in tip-top shape. Terry's shop has become not just my happy place, but my refuge. Over the last few years, I have lost a lot of family members and friends to COVID, cancer, and suicide. And I spent nine months in a hotel after my house was storm damaged. Terry's shop has been there through it all and has willingly offered a comforting space to land. Yes, there are shops closer, one barely a mile from my home, but I continue to drive the 25 miles to Quilter's Journey for that all-important human connection. Quilt shops fill many needs, from providing supplies, to quilting quilts, to lending a listening ear. Sandy said it well in her comment about a quilting bee in Mahomet, Illinois. Sandy's comment is read by Lee, who's always the first person to arrive at Biani. He works hard to have most of the orders pulled before the rest of the team arrives. Every moment is special at a quilting bee. From choosing fabric to picking up your quilt after Andrea works her magic with the long arm, she also takes time to ask about my parents and listens when you need to talk. It also happens to be the best therapy in town. Local quilt shops are also excellent at helping us diagnose problems and providing solutions. Mary recognized that in her comment about Augusta Sewing Center in Augusta, Georgia. Reading Mary's comment is Nolan, the newest member of the Biani Warehouse team, who assembles patterns, zippers, and more. Many times when I have come into the store, I've noticed that they have taken time, no matter how busy they are, to help someone who is learning to sew, learning their machine, or just having issues with something. That person always leaves with a smile on their face and a confidence in their eyes that they can do this. Over and over, voters commented about how our local quilt shops make us feel welcome, as you'll hear in this comment from Robert about Aunt Pam's Closet LLC in Henrietta, Texas. Casey B., who expertly ships orders and double-checks assemblies, as well as helps write the photo contest blogs, shares Robert's comment. I'm a guy, and they always make me feel as welcome as they do my wife. Many of us find a home away from home at our local quilt shop, as evidenced by Danielle's comment about her favorite shop, Stitch Adventure in Newton, New Jersey. Reading Danielle's comment is Ellie, the youngest member of the Biani Warehouse team, who helps with assembly and more. I walked into the shop after having my second baby to try and find a hobby to distract me from postpartum depression. I left with a hobby and an entire family. I love this place and everyone who works here. Simply put, 
quilt shops enrich our lives. Catherine summed it up well in this comment about So Lovely in Irvington, Virginia. Jackie, who keeps everyone happy and covers lots of bases at Biani, shares Catherine's story. My mom, a longtime quilter, recently moved from her home of 50 years in West Virginia to Virginia, a very emotional change as one can imagine. To our delight, So Lovely is just down the road from her and has welcomed her with open arms, encourages her with challenging projects, and overall just makes her feel like she can accomplish anything. So Lovely has been a ray of sunshine in what might otherwise be dreary days. We're so lucky to have them in our backyard. I get such a warm glow after reading these stories, and I can just imagine how they will light up a busy shop owner's day. If you haven't already voted, please be sure to take a minute to do that now and ask your family and friends to vote too. Just go to lqscontest.com vote. And don't hold back on your stories about the stores. We want to really show them some love on this day of love and every day.